Did we try to hit six hours today? Yesterday I was thinking and making uh, um, what do you call it scenarios and wasted my time actually playing Minecraft. Uh, whenever I feel stuck and I really don't know what to do and I just want my idea flow, sometimes I do something mindless. So in Minecraft there is a world generation that go fast every time you move. So I take one direction and just keep going that direction and trying to find beautiful scenes. Uh, unfortunately, after a while, you will feel that the scenes are repetitive. So my brother has just made um, a mod back and I was like, they wanted me to join them. I was like, you know what, I will play in my way. And I just went there and screwed up. So, um, <laughs> I wasted my time while thinking about the project and I decided I will use the double table. I made a few scenarios in my head and I just started the timers. That's mean the time. It's time for the Christmas. I mean Halloween. I mean whatever. <clears throat> so the double table or the tuple in other words because every time you add an element, it has a different name. I believe the first one is mono, double, turbo, something like that. Uh, will generate some kind of redundancy for the attack keyword. But it will make uh, connecting it with the... Um, with the system easier. So this one should be the attack and this one should be the animation Is it the attack name or the attack action? Oh, is it the same? Oh, Jesus. It seems I haven't thought about that that much, did I? I could decide that the action name should be the same as the uh, attack name, but if that's the case, then I need to change the GUI how it works. Because remember, attacks as an action is general. It might be an attack for the action condition. It might be uh, something else about the action conditioning. So maybe the action condition will say um, general attack. And the general attack will generate two action conditions for the ammo and the weapon dynamically and I wonder if I make the ammo as part of the equipment. I can make an ammo as a part of equipment. And the action condition actually the equipment of the weapon itself will actually consider the attack in here and depends on the equipment set it do different results and that's even a diff uh, different story. So as you can see, you can make secondary attacks in totally different ways. And I need to make sure the system will accept all these ways. In a brilliant way. I don't want to do something that, ah, this is acceptable doing that in this system, but that system doesn't deal with this in this way. And <clears throat> the whole system collapsed in that time. 
Oh, at that uh, instant, or at that example, or is that? Anyhow. So, uh, I need to be careful with these things. And it seems one day of taking it off didn't help that much. Uh, I thought I would figure out everything on the fly. And, uh, nope. Uh, the thing is more tricky than what you expected. I expected. Everyone expected. So once again, we have an attack that live in the AP, and we have an attack name. And this is supposed to be the attack name. But this is the question. I'm sorry, I said this is the question and I was thinking about the answer and I didn't say the question to you. When the control scream at the system that the user want to attack, what will the control say? It should say only attack and the whole thing get generated. But you see... No, this is not the case. Um, because in Half-Life, the machine gun, Half-Life 1, can fire grenades at the, at the right button, right? So if you say attack, there's not only one attack, actually. There are more than one attack, depends on the control, and the control can support all the type of attacks. So the EDs attacks should be known so we can use um, the attack name in here and whenever I go to the control and select the control I need to add all possible attacks that this AP can handle and this is the worrisome part because these attacks belong to the weapon, not the creature, and you're controlling the creature. Do you see the issue in here? So it depends on the game. Some of the games, especially FPS, when they have a trouble attacks for each weapon or double attacks for each weapon i haven't played games uh new games for a while the newest game i played was skyrim or x3 or something and i'm talking about the ps the ps of life 2 no quake 4 of life 2 i'm not sure which one is newer but i see some of the games support terrible weapons and that's not the issue. So these games have a button for the main attack, which is usually the left mouse, a button for the secondary attack, which is usually the right mouse, and a third button for a triple attack, and sometimes a fourth button for the triple attack. And in that case, you can just assign four default buttons for these weapons and each weapon have the same name attack one attack two attack three attack four and that's it and we expect all the weapons but this is an engine we are not making a game 
And this might be one scenario. The second scenario, maybe the weapon have no attack. Maybe the weapon have th three attacks. Maybe the weapon have 12 attacks. It depends on the game and how the things works. And I'm trying to make it as much as data driven as possible without screwing up the user who is me who's creating the game. I'm trying to make things work an easier way. So. How do I know that this user can use these weapons? This is one of the questions. Can the user use a weapon if it's made outside of the file? Like uh, an addition or DLC or whatever. How easy to maintain the system after we uh, we have done it. So these are kind of the questions that I'm worried about. The thing is the creature or the AP can attack and the weapons can attack, but the controller control only the AP. What if if we made a controller have all the key buttons for the weapon and the creature? Won't that solve a lot of problems? Maybe I'm looking at the issue in the wrong way. Maybe I'm looking at the issue connecting the attack class to the action condition. Maybe I, I need to take a look at the action condition and connect it to the attack class. Uh, stretching the cables from the different direction. Uh, the action condition, if you are familiar with, if you watch the series in 7,000 years or something. Um... Hmm. Actually, we know what kind of things a user can equip. Kinda. No, no, it depends on the type. We say this guy can wear on this slot a one hand weapon and grenades and bazookas or something. As a type, but not as the weapon itself. But shouldn't the type have a saying? How the thing is used? Not all the time. I mean, what will you do with the grenades other than throw them? May you put them on the ground? Some of them can you put them on the ground? Some of them can be sticky? I don't know. Should I separate the type in that time? As a sticky grenade and grenades, and based on the type, we uh, do the fixed type of attacking. Like, well, this guy can hand weapons, like a uh, one hand sword. No, it doesn't fit because games with swords, like Devil May Cry, uh, have different combos and make a combo with the system. It depends on the weapon, so um, a combo can be made by the action condition, actually. And it shouldn't be related to the type, it should be related to the weapon itself. Remember, the system is not fully data driven the action condition and the uh, control and attacks <coughs> are hybrid half of them are data driven and the other half is hard code and usually the name is the hard code if uh, the game know about that name it must be implemented in here 
But not everything can, should be implemented in here or can, must implement in here. Some of the data are optional and you can maintain it and tweak it and return it to the system. And the system doesn't need to change its hardware, uh, hard code. It will work fine. And that's the whole story. That's the... So as you can see, I'm still stuck with this issue. Not because I don't know what to do, but I'm not sure if this is the, the best way to do it. And this is the whole issue. I don't want to make a half-ass system that, oh, you can do uh, this trick by doing this or this or this. But the other system that's connected to this uh, system only accept half of that. That's not good. That's not good. That's actually jamming the whole thing. It's better not to make it open. So the action condition is so open, so damn open that you can do the same thing in like three, four different ways. But the attack system now is not. It's not happy with uh, a lot of ways. And that's what troubles me the most. And the control system can help. But I'm not sure how can it help. So here's the whole story. Here's the whole story. <laughs> and when you're stuck. Really stuck. And you cannot figure it out. Make the easiest, simplest scenario working. Then look at the rest. Well, they work on that. That help actually. So let's do it as I just suggested. I kind of forgot how to do this. Let me see. Maybe I need to announce that type. No, I don't need to announce the type. This is not. Then why he's not happy with it? Maybe I need to tell the type in here. In that case, yeah, I believe I done it right, but I'm not sure. So let's try to do it again. Remember, I'm kind of new to the table of crap. That's why I'm doing it in the hard way. Trying to get familiar with it, then I'll do the shortcut. Uh, just like when you do deal with the... Uh, If statement and he's making this dark for some reason and usually when he do that I believe that's mean you can uh, omit them because yeah so it seems he uh, understand the type the generic type without mentioning that somehow 
it's like implemented in it to make it easier which is quite nice quite nice but i believe this is how the compiler see it don't make me debate if this is faster or not because that that will just be ugly so yeah um let's give this a try uh as you can see we have one million issues in here before we do we we, we try something Let me try to do something first. Give me a second. So we need only to add this. No need to add this because we are going to make the GUI select D based on the animation. Even though, even though they are living in the animated particle, not the animation. And we need to call initialize after that. Actually, this one is not needed because usually it will be empty. But just to ensure, to make sure. So the general initialize should. Um, reinitialize the fire group. Uh, the fire list, the fire point. So I wonder if the fire point is um... nope. So let's. Uh... Hmm. Ah. The attack name, and because they are the same, let's move them uh, together. Um, the description and SSI. Next, excuse me. Oh, I forgot to fix the filter. I have a filter for the, the microphone, and I haven't recorded with the filter once, only the first time, and then I kept forgetting to fix it. And I don't know how much um, differ the result will be, but because it exists, let's try it. And I'm fixing it on the table. I don't hear any noise, but probably you would or you did, because this sucker is so sensitive. Oh, I fix it too close to my left hand, and now it's annoys me. Excuse me again. 
I need to fix it a little bit away from my left hand so I can tap on the keyboard without hitting it every time. So we want to, uh, every time you select this guy, uh, the, the file list appear. And every time the APA you selected, the attack list appear. Which is... Um, I don't know how to do that, but let me give it a try. I'm a programmer, my friend. I'm a programmer. I will find a way. There's something called for each, and we will use it. Oh, we already have the APACB select. And it's filling the fire points with the points. But we need to do something a little bit more complicated. A little bit more complicated. I'm not sure how to use the tuples in for each. Let me be honest with you. But the thing is, it's not a tuple. It's a dictionary actually. And inside the dictionary is the tuple. So, here are the attack names, and here are the animation names. So, if the animation name is the one, we need to check this one somehow. Then we add this one to the list. But before we add it to the list, let's make sure that the list is empty. Oh, yeah, so, you see? I wonder if it will return a generic type so I don't need to um, cast it. Yep, it returns a string. It doesn't return an object or element or whatever. It returns it as a generic item. I love this tuple already. So it seems we, we could do this in one line. So no need to add the parentheses. Sorry, brackets. I believe they called brackets. And now, when you select the attack, we should see the fire. So, um, let's see the blinking in seven years and a half. Oh, weird. Uh, first of all, let's check the selected index. Is the microphone on? Is the video on? Okay, good. I don't want to do the same silly mistake over and over.
Let me check the attack class for a second. Hmm. I need this. So let me complete this by using this. What am I doing? Seems my jokes. Jokes on me. Yeah, I know a friend who like these kinds of jokes. But once. It's almost the only type of jokes he laugh at. And I shouldn't use these jokes all the time because they're actually not my type or my style. But... Sometimes they just go out naturally. Hey, quick, you just said it's not your style. Shut up. It's just not my style. All right. God. Help me. Tuples are classes, and yet they are immutable, just like the string. And I have no clue how to select this one now, but um, let's give it a try. Maybe by using tuple create again. So we need the tag name, which is from the attack list. Uh, Am I missing something? I cannot select this one for some reason. Oh. And then I need uh, animation. Then we t t take the attack object. Is this the right way to do it? Mm. Well, this is the attack object, silly you. So, oh, okay, is the attack object. And then I might done something horrible in there. But bear with me. Um, oh. Oh, come on. I really hate it when things don't, don't work like this. Um. Because they are not fucking public.
Wait, 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 wait. This is a list of objects. And attack object. And this is the fire point. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, all of this is full of crap. Because when you select the fire point, is the guy who is responsible on uh, refilling the fire list. This guy. <sighs> Actually, I should delete this guy, but it will cry like a baby in a second. So let me go to the designer and delete it. I like it when I start working for 30 minutes and I immediately get tired already and I want to work like 9 hours a day. I don't know what to do sometimes. So if this thing is selected, probably. And written probably. And the attack list is selected probably. And The thing is, you cannot select it unless the AP is selected. So I don't think I need to check them both. I mean, I need to check the... You know what? Yeah, it won't hurt, but in the same time, it's not necessary. So, um, I don't think it's necessary. I will test it uh, when I start the test to see if it will crash if I try to select an empty thing and... Things go wrong. But for now... Let's do the impossible for each. So we need to attack this first. Oh, not the game. Seriously. Um. Ah, because he expected that this is the type. Because you, ty you can type the type. And I lost uh, the code of position. Because I clicked on this by mistake. Congratulations. And then the APA CP if tab one, the animation name. And we need to take the attack object off the fire point CP if tab one. Then with the fire list if tab one, items add A OK. Fire name. And once again, he is not fucking happy.
Mm. I don't think I can do that, can I? So, once again, I never uh, tried this before. So, um, I have no clue how to call uh so let me try to seek some examples and that's what happened my friends when you try to force yourself to work and you feel tired guess what's the first thing will appear after a few minutes not immediately a headache then a stomach ache then a leg ache then a rage ache then search. Actually, the rage just came to me, so. I just want to know how do you call the thing. What the hell is this? Are these characters like A and B, C? I'm not following. I'm not following. Why didn't they make the, the dot 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 thing? Like the ski, I don't know. Hmm. Let me try this. Oh. Hmm. Apparently, I'm doing something really stupid. Give me a second. Um, no, it used double create. 
So we didn't go anywhere. Oh. Well, it uses fantasies. Oh, wait. It uses fantasies. Silly me. If it uses fantasies, give me a second. Um. So this is what happens when you're really not familiar with the stuff. You might do something really stupid and it, it's meaningless. So we forgot to cast this boy. A lot of people tell me, you better use diapers. Well, the GUI made sure that I don't save anything except Bites in here, so yeah, I'm guaranteeing the stuff in a different way. It doesn't mean that someone on the internet of Stack Overflow or uh, Dreaming Code forum said that. That's mean it's a law, you know. The, the this kind of uh, thinking need to go away. Need to to disappear somehow. There's nothing called the best way in programming. So let's give it a try and see how far or how screwed up is the system. <sighs> so let's make a fire. Let's make two actually. And let's check them. Then let's go to the attribute. Go to the attribute. Oh, first we need to add to add the attack. Then we can crash the system. Oh, if this guy doesn't have um, fires. Uh, the, the whole object in the dictionary won't exist. So, um... I need to focus a little bit. Can you focus a little bit? Please, please, focus a little bit. Just for a second. Just, just for the fucking second. Focus a little bit. I know you have a headache. I know you're in a rage. I know you're fooling around. I said focus. You're still not focused. Attack object dictionary. Not exists, contains, 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 contains. And remove these silly things. Uh, 
Alright. Should we test the whole thing again? Please? So, just for the sake of idiotacy, 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 that's not the way to pronounce it, I believe. Let's add another five points. Do you know what? Yeah, let's fix the angle. Save and save. So I don't want to do that every fucking time. So we have two fire points now. Just for the t testing purposes. Um, um, let's add two fire. And call it sign. And I add another one when we call it rock. And let's add a third one. Look at that, the, the, the five point appearing here. I didn't flag it off when I changed it here. It's a lot of damn work. And um, that that will do. Um, so we have two attack points. Let's add the sign. Oh, I didn't add the last fire. Because I didn't give it um, a number for the life. Um, in the attack one, let's add fire and uh, the sign. In the f in this first point, no bath. Holy, holy tomato. No, no, no. Oh, you yeah, have no excuse. No excuse. This one's attack aim. What is the key? Not found. Think. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on me. Don't. What the hell is going on? So the apparently, apparently the attack was null, apparently, but I'm not sure. Like uh, the value was null, because you see here in value it says everything is null. So uh, let me uh, check when I add the attack.
Oh lord, I love this crap. On its blink for seven years. Well, apparently it doesn't matter, but I should use this instead of that. Unless... Why the attack name is here? Because the attack name is needed. Why... This guy doesn't have a dictionary for the attack name. Alright. Oh, the washing machine is done. I need to move the, my clothes to the lander. So, there is an object with the key of attack 1 and aim. And it doesn't have the name, nor it does it have um, any data. But that's alright, because we are using... Oh, the same problem. Because we are adding a new fire, and actually the dictionary doesn't have this position in the dictionary object. You see, you see, actually I faced the same problem when I was dealing with layers, and I made it temporary. Whenever I made a layer, it add all the layer slots, but when it save it, it save only the ones that exist, just so this problem doesn't happen. And I could use the same trick, because you see, in the attack class, it has a dictionary of where the fire coming out, in which frame, which is called the fire point. And if there is no fire coming out from this fire point at all, then it won't have an object in here, it's empty. So, there are a few ways to do it. The first way is either to trick the system. And every time you load the file, you created all possible fire points in here. And when you save it to the file, save only the ones that exist. Which is a lazy way to do it. The second way is, is to make a function in here. And send the data that you want to save. And check if this thing exists or not. And that's what we are going to do after the break. Because my head doesn't want to calm down. I will uh, put my clothes in the dryer. Load the second load to the washing machine. And take a break. Thanks for watching and see you next time. This is part 11, part 11.